Good morning all. I'm back from my summer holiday and I'm very excited because this has turned up and this is an MPPT solar charge controller. So the briefest of unboxings. Now here it is in this hmm, lime green colour. Uh, it also got a little bit dinged there. But look at this. This is very interesting because this is made by the Ming He Company. And that's very interesting because Ming He are the people who make these little power converters, these DC to DC power supplies with the digital uh, interface. This one is the Ming He B3603, which I use a lot. I use it as my bench power supply. And uh, this is another one which uh, I got recently, which is a 900 watt boost converter. I think it can go up to 120 volts on the output. This is another Ming He product. So I've got quite high hopes for this MPPT solar charge controller, um, the MPT7210, let's take that off. Uh, this has got a, a colour LCD, and as far as I remember from the uh, page on Banggood's website, it's got quite a lot of uh, current and voltage information on there. We'll power that up in a moment. Uh, let's just have a quick look around. Um, there's a fan on this side. Here we've got uh, two sets of terminals for battery and panel. Now this doesn't have any sort of load controller, it would seem. So it's just a pure uh, solar panel to battery charge controller. But it's MPPT. And as far as I remember, um, this was actually quite a reasonable price. Let's take a look on Banggood's website. So here it is, it's the MPT7210A Aluminium Alloy MPPT Solar Panel Charge Controller with LCD Display and uh, in pounds it's £32.28. And switching to US dollars, it's $41.99. Now I've been caught out with uh, MPPT Solar Charge Controllers at this price point in the past. I think I've looked at a couple of duds but uh, given that this is Ming He and uh, also the other thing is given that it has even before opening it up I can see yes there it has an inductor in it so I do have high hopes um now I could do one or two th two things now I can either put uh, a battery on here and see the display power up or we can open it up and take a look inside hmm let's put the battery on and just see what the uh, display looks like now, I'm planning to hook up this uh, 12 volt, 4.5 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. And I've been looking through the manual that came with it, but I can't see anything uh, on spec. There's lots of um, instructions on what the display is and how to uh, set the display. Um, lots of steps, but no actual spec. So let's take a look at uh, Banggood's website again. Well now this is interesting because it says compatible with 24 volt, 36, 48, 60 volt and 72 volt battery pack systems. That seems like a very high battery voltage, 72 volts. Um, but it doesn't have any mention of 12 volt systems. So that's going to possibly mean I can't connect 12 volts to this. I mean perhaps I will anyway just to see what happens. And further down here, we've got uh, things here about setting the uh, voltages. Well, there, there's a panel voltage of 24 volts there with a battery voltage of 36. So is this device actually boosting the solar panel voltage up to match the battery voltage? Because that's not the way it's normally done. It's normally done with a buck converter and the solar panel voltage will be higher than the battery voltage. Here it looks like it's the other way around. Also, which is a bit concerning, it says here, press up or down, solar panel voltage is set to 18 volts. And this is highlighted. So do you manually set the solar panel voltage? That's not quite what I was expecting. Yes, all the way through these instructions, it, sh it shows the panel voltage as lower than the battery voltage, which means that this is some sort of boost charge controller. This is very strange. So I think given that, um, now it's time really to take this apart rather than power it up because I don't have a 24 volt battery 
immediately to hand, I can set something up. But let's just take a look inside and see if we can see how the uh, inductor and the diode, if there is diode, or MOSFET if it's a synchronous design, how they're actually configured to see whether this is actually a booster or a buck uh, DC to DC converter. So if it's a boost controller, then that's a peculiar topology. I've not seen anything like that before. My own MPPT Muppet is buck, and all the MPPT sort of designs I've seen are buck, where the solar panel voltage can be, or is, higher than the battery voltage, in some cases significantly higher. I and mean, I was thinking that uh, it should be more like that the solar panel voltage can be anything from sort of nominal 12 volts, 36 cells I suppose, um, all the way up to possibly 60 or 72 volts. Not the battery. Strange. Right, what we've got here then is a fan on this panel. Uh, sensibly that's in a socket so I can disconnect that fan. And then we've got a board that slides in and out. And the top panel which does slide, although it's slightly sticky, because I think the glue that holds this panel on has slightly stuck it to the case, but that is coming out. And there's the uh, circuit board, and there's the display. So what we have here is a uh, positive of the solar panel comes in at this point, runs through to the inductor. That's the uh, big inductor there, so it goes through the inductor, through this device. Now, because you can see that the two outer connections are connected together, this is almost certainly a diode or two diodes in parallel. Uh, through that, out of this middle pin, round here, and out to the positive of the battery. So if current is flowing from the solar panel to the battery, it's going through inductor, diode, and into the battery. And that, as we can see from Wikipedia's boost converter article, is exactly what we've got here. This is the solar panel, the supply. It goes through the inductor, through the diode, and into the load, which in the case of the charge controller is the battery. So there's a current flow that way. Here's the switch. This will be a MOSFET switching on and off, which provides the step up. This inductor, this side of the inductor will fly up and be higher than this side of the inductor. So that provides the boost function, but essentially that's the circuit through the inductor, through the diode, and into the load, which is the uh, battery on the charge controller. So it does look like the charge controller is a boost circuit. So just throwing caution to the wind uh, briefly, I wanted to just see whether this would work at 12 volts. So here's 12 volt battery, there's the display. When I connect it, there's a click. So uh, power is being drawn or at least the capacitors are um, charging up and no the display doesn't light up so no it doesn't work at 12 volts. How about uh, 18 volts? This is a lithium power tool 18 volt battery. Positive to positive. No that doesn't seem to do anything either. So do we absolutely have to have 24 volts to make the uh, display come on? Well it looks like it. Right, here's my 36 volt uh, lithium lawnmower battery. Now this device does say it's okay on 36 volt battery systems. So let's give this a go. So a bit of a spark from connecting it, but still nothing on the display of the controller. Yeah, so the capacitor's charged up, but um, nothing on the display. So I'm just wondering, does this perhaps need, or does it power itself from the solar panel? That would be very weird, but kind of understandable if uh, this is boosting up. Maybe it's actually powered from the low voltage side. It's all very strange. So I've put a connector here on the uh, solar panel side. So that lines up with that. And I'm going to connect sort of a pseudo solar panel, one of these um, old transformer based 12 volt power supplies. Now that will probably put out more like 18 volts. Uh, off load, so I'll plug that in and try that. Right, plug that in. Oh, and that immediately powers up. And it's showing me that the solar panel voltage is 17.12 volts. 
uh, battery voltage it's saying is 30 volts, even though there's no battery on there. So maybe that's something I have to set. But yeah, it seems to be powered from the solar panel side. Now, the odd thing is what happens at night? Because when the uh, sun goes down, does this thing shut off? And then will it reboot reliably every time this um, solar panel voltage rises up? It's a very strange arrangement. So while I've got this thing powered up, let's just have a bit of a play with it. What does up and down do? Well, that just seems to change. Down doesn't seem to do anything, but up seems to flip it between watt hours and amp hours on the cumulative uh, energy or charge display, I suppose that is. Uh, what does set do? Uh, that seems to highlight various fields. That's highlighted the solar panel voltage field, and that's now showing zero. 30 volts for the battery, 5 amps. Uh, the save icon has gone red. Now the save icon has gone yellow. Interesting, I've no idea what I'm doing, but it is at least running. The CPU is running. That's an ST microcontroller there. But powered by the solar panel, that's really strange. Now I've just been uh, raising and lowering the battery voltage and the maximum voltage you can set it to is 90 volts. So I'm guessing that turns the boost converter into a 90 volt output boost converter. That's higher than the 72 that it said in the uh, description. That then goes all the way down in, what's that, tenths of a, that hundredths of a volt, uh, all the way down actually to zero. So it just looks like it's a sort of controllable uh, output voltage for the boost converter. Strange that they talk of this as an MPPT solar charge controller though. Very odd. Now what if we go to current, 5 amps. I'll just see where that goes to as a maximum. That's scrolling a little bit slowly. Come back to that one. Right, maximum current is 10 amps. So I'm guessing that's where this 7210 name comes from. Uh, up to 72 volt battery systems, even though you can actually push the boost converter to push out 90 volts. Uh, maximum current is 10 amps, and then I'm guessing that the current, if I push it all the way down, will go down to zero. So yes, the minimum current you can set does appear to be uh, zero amps. Uh, the solar panel voltage can be set uh, up to 90 volts and then all the way down to zero. So the battery voltage and the solar panel voltage can both be set to a maximum of 90 volts. Um, I'm assuming that you set the solar panel voltage to the maximum power voltage of your solar panel and then the boost converter just boosts that up and pushes it into the battery, the battery being a higher voltage. That's what I assume this thing is doing, and it's powered by the solar panel. So I think what I'm going to do now is uh, put this back together, take it outside, get a solar panel that I can plug into this socket, uh, which I do have one, and then put some sort of battery system on here. I might use NICADs or something like that, uh, just to keep it nice and simple, power tool batteries, um, and just have a play with this thing outside using a proper solar panel. 